Well, with our beautiful beaches, world-class wineries and some of the most spectacular national parks on the planet, WA should be overrun with tourists, but it is not. In fact, according to the latest research, WA had the worst growth in international visitors this year, while the national average sits at 11.5%. Tasmania, ENT, Queensland and Victoria have all seen a massive growth in international tourist visitor spending. But here in the West, we've seen less than 2% growth. For more on this, we're joined by Bradley Woods from the Australian Hotels Association. Bradley, good morning to you. Thanks for your time. Good morning to you. Despite those figures I mentioned, uh, WA still stands as the fourth most visited state. We had over 800,000 tourists here last year, so is the picture as grim as I've just painted? Well, with the drop in the Aussie dollar, what we've certainly seen is an increase in international visitors coming to Australia, but WA is just not getting its fair share. We've seen over 11% increase Australia-wide. Some states like Tasmania have had a 24% increase in international visitors. WA has only achieved 1%. If we want to create jobs, new employment and career opportunities into the future for tourism, which is going to be the growth sector for the state, we've got to spend a lot more money on marketing Western Australia to the rest of the world. Well, how far behind are we, uh, Bradley? Clear we don't have a, a bottomless uh, pit of money at the moment in the WA public purse. How much more do we need to pump in? Well, for example, New South Wales is spending over half a billion dollars a year on its tourism and events marketing. WA's total budget for the tourism WA budget is $80 million a year. We've got a long way to go before we're competing with states like Queensland and New South Wales. We don't expect to spend that much, but we certainly need to ramp up the level of marketing internationally to achieve much greater growth in a boom time for Australia's tourism sector. Are we targeting the right sectors overseas as well, do you think, Bradley? Uh, and, and if not, where should we be putting more money and focus into? Well, we think Tourism Western Australia has the right strategy. It has the right target markets in focus. It just doesn't have the funding. Uh, the state government, Treasury, uh, just are not putting enough money into tourism marketing for Western Australia. And that's why we're not just getting this massive increase in jobs like we're seeing in Queensland and New South Wales. We saw too uh, recently, Bradley, some of the airlines cutting back some routes uh, in and out of Perth. Uh, are we seeing enough uh, domestic competition in, amongst the airlines to bring more people here? Well, what we'd like to see is even more competition. There's greater opportunities for increasing competition within Australia. There are opportunities to look at international airlines, possibly flying some of the domestic routes. It doesn't help when Qantas reduces the size of the planes flying in from the east coast to Western Australia. So there's a lot more work to be done and we'd love to be able to work with airlines like Qantas and Virgin to expand the number of seats coming into Western Australia. Bradley Woods, thanks for your time this morning. Thanks, Tim.